one of the things that I learned in graduate school is that those who have the power, the status quo, they don't give it up. The system works fine for them. But this is what we're up against. The latest statistics that have come out in the last several months. The combined <laughs> income of the top one half of 1%, the combined income, the wealth, of less than 2.8 million people. Their wealth is over 12.3 trillion dollars. Now our national debt is somewhere around 14 to 16 trillion. Last year, Congress borrowed 1.4 trillion dollars in order to meet payroll. If they had raised 3% taxes on that one half of 1%, they would have raised the $1.4 trillion in one pen stroke. But instead, they borrowed that money, and where do you think they borrowed it from? They borrowed it from the people who have the trillion and trillions of dollars. This is what we're up against. We're up against a plutocratic system. Plutocracy is basically ruled by a wealthy elite. And we live where they live. That's why there's only about 50, 60, or 100 of us here. Because when we march up and down State Street, we're trying to reach the very people who are the 1%. And it makes our job that much, much more difficult. Here's another statistic. The Walton family. You know Bill Walton? Right, he created Walmart. His six descendants, his six children. Those six children's combined wealth is greater than the combined wealth of the bottom 30% of this country. Their combined wealth do you think they're going to give it up? Not one second. Not one iota. Not one shred of power. When we have the revolution, they will. No, they won't. They'll have the private army. We'll have the private army. China. There are four roads going into Montecito. Four roads. And don't think for a moment that if we were to try to go over there and knock on their doors, they wouldn't stop us. They wouldn't hesitate to stop us. It's not really the 1% we need to worry about. It's the one half of 1%. They control everything. They control the corporations. They control the power. They control the money. Can you imagine a group whose combined income exceeds that of the United States? The gross national product of this country last year was less money than what those one half of one percent are. <coughs> they are a nation within a nation. This is what we're up against, my friends. It's one thing to march up and down and say it's not fair and corporate greed. They know they're greedy. They know that they've got their money stashed away in bank accounts all over the world. The people we need to be talking to are their servants. The people we need to be reaching are the ones that are wiping their asses and cutting their lawns and cleaning their toilets and cleaning up after them. That's who we need to be talking to. They have those people intimidated with uh, deportation. That's part of the problem, isn't it? Part of it, yeah. Wage slavery. Wage slavery. Shut up and do what you're told or you fear. get deported. One of the lessons I learned in life that fear is false Powerful evidence of carrying real. Yeah. Remember, I talked about that. one half of 1%, 2.8 million people. You know what that means? They're outnumbered 1,000 to 1. And one day, we'll show up at their door. You know what they'll do? They'll take their gold, 
They'll take the jewel, they'll take their money and they get on an airplane, and then they'll fly to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> they'll fly to someplace else, which is fine with me. Take your goddamn money and leave my country. <coughs> I'll take your house. <laughs> I'll take your swimming 